A little fox lay motionless on the green grass and watched the sky. Across the blue sky, white clouds leisurely floated by. They were different sizes and shapes. Some clouds looked like a long-eared rabbit or a hedgehog with spines on its back or like a tremendous elephant and hippopotamus or a fairy tale castle there was even a cloud in the sky that looked like the little fox himself it seemed possible to watch them forever and every time see something new in them. The little fox leisurely observed each cloud and counted them aloud. Six, seven, eight, Having counted to twenty, he caught himself thinking that he wanted to lie on a cloud. He could lie on the grass every single day, but he had never in his life lain on a cloud. The clouds were so soft and fluffy. It was probably very comfortable to rest and sleep on them. But how could he make his new dream come true? The little fox immediately stood up and started thinking it over. Clouds live high in the sky so you can only get to them from something high. Then he remembered the lonely tree on the hill and ran towards it. Luckily, it was very close. So in just a few minutes, the fox had climbed onto the first branch why are you climbing a tree? asked a crow sitting on a branch. But the fox did not answer her, silently continuing to climb. He deftly climbed onto the next branch. Then another one. Foxes never climb trees. You can fall and kill yourself. Other birds discouraged him. Still, the little fox continued climbing up to the very top of the tree. Another branch. And one more. And only having climbed the last branch did he realize that the tree was not high enough. The clouds were still very, very high in the sky. He tried once again, standing up to his full height and stretching his forepaws up. No, it didn't work. But the little fox did not get upset. He sat down on a branch and began to think again. What if he had a plane or helicopter or some sort of air then the fox remembered the balloons he'd gotten on his last birthday. There were three of them, green, blue, and red. <gasps> what a great idea! 
they could help him get to the sky. The little fox quickly climbed down the tree and ran to his hole. His plan was to let the three balloons lift him to the cloud. The fox reached his hole, grabbed the balloon strings, and crawled outside. Holding the balloons, he raised his paw, closed his eyes, and nothing happened. The balloons tried to fly up, but the little fox was too heavy to fly with them. At this, he became sad. Were foxes destined to live in holes all their lives, catching mice but never touching the clouds in the sky? The little fox let the balloons go one by one, and they slowly flew up. The red balloon flew first. The blue one followed it. The little fox looked at the last green balloon and saw a high mountain behind it. Near the top of this mountain, white clouds were floating in the sky. The fox realized that all he needed to do was to climb to the top of the mountain, and from there he could jump onto any cloud. Without a second thought, he started his trip. His hole was already out of sight. Below there was a spring from which the little fox liked to drink water. He even saw the field where he usually hunted mice. The little fox walked forward, smiling and thinking only about his dream. He did not even notice a dangerous snake on the road, but stepped right over it. This time, nothing would stop him. He was definitely going to reach his goal. The little fox emerged from the forest at the very foot of the mountain. From there, the mountain seemed to be even higher. One could get to the top along a winding path. There was even a sign there, the road leading up. The fox continued up, and the animals on his way just watched him go. With every step, he was getting closer to his goal. The fox had already climbed so high that he didn't meet any other animals, and sometimes only lonely birds flew past him. It was starting to get dark, and his paws were getting tired. The little fox thought more than once of turning back and going home. But at those moments, he just closed his eyes and imagined himself lying on a high, high cloud. There must be a beautiful view of his house from there. These thoughts inspired him, and he continued walking. Finally, he reached the very top of the mountain. There was no one around, only the little fox. He stood on the highest rock surrounded by white fog. This fog was a real cloud, 
and the fox was right inside it. And he could see his hole far away below him. He saw the field where he usually caught mice, the spring from which he drank water, and even the forest. How beautiful it was! The little fox sat down on a stone and admired the sunset. Deep in his mind, he was supremely happy and proud of himself. He believed in his dream and did not stop halfway. And now he was rewarded with such moving emotions. The fox's eyes began to close slowly. He yawned and fell asleep, lying on a cloud. The cloud gently hugged the little fox and wished him good night. I want you to believe in your dream too, and never stop halfway. Now. Close your eyes. Let's try to count the clouds in the sky together. One, two. Look, one of the clouds looks just like you. Four, five. Sweet dreams, little one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten.